Is this the future of beer? In Germany, also known worldwide as the land of beer, a new innovation was born, the beer powder. But who comes up with such an idea? This man did. Stefan Fritsche, general manager of the Neuzeller Brewery. He and his team spent some two years developing the formula for beer powder. But why? We're exporting uh, the, whole, the beer, the monastery of Neuzeller beer, to the whole world. And you can imagine one glass is like a half a kilogram of this glass. And the water is also half a kilogram, and this was uh, quite useless. And so we just wanted to export the taste of the Nortella Broda Monastery Brewery. And so we were trying to invent something which is totally unique. We wanted to invent a uh, powder which is carrying all the taste of the beer inside. On average, every German drinks around 90 liters of beer annually, putting them in fourth place in Europe. But in terms of production, Germany tops the list with a market share of more than 20%. What makes German beer so special is the country's purity law, which allows only hops, barley malt, water, and yeast in beer. The Neuzella Brewery is about 150 kilometers southeast of Berlin. It's been making beer for over 400 years, starting as a monastery brewery. In the Middle Ages, monks often brewed beer to get them through times of fasting. But leaving tradition and purity law aside, Stefan Fritsche also values innovation. I don't care about uh, um, a recipe about how to brew beer because purity law is just recipe advice, in my opinion. It's very nice, but in, if the customer would like this, I would be happy to serve this way. But my customers telling me, no, 95% of my customers say, no, we want just something different, not always the same. But as traditional brewer Oliver Lemke tells it, this newfangled beer powder has nothing in common with quality traditionally brewed ale, though he admits he hasn't tried the innovation yet. Es wird ein komplett anderes Produkt sein. Ich sag mal, selbst wenn Sie Haarmilch trinken und Milch trinken, dann kennen Sie einen Unterschied. Und das ist eben wichtig für die Leute, dass Sie das so einschätzen können. Aber das hat mit der Art Bier, wie wir sie äh, äh, zelebrieren äh, und äh, wie sie uns Spaß macht, äh, ein, einfach nichts zu tun. Ja. The brewery has so far kept the ingredients and the exact process for making beer powder secret. Stefan Fritsche says dispensing with bottles will reduce export costs and be good for the environment. But without knowing how the powder is produced, a full eco-check is not possible. The brewery would certainly be able to save on shipping expenses. So what's in it for me? No more carrying crates or six packs, for example. With this invention, all you need is some basic water and beer powder. But does it taste any good? I mean, it's 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 not bad. I think um, it's alcohol free. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I won't be too harsh. I mean, it's not like a regular beer like I've tasted before, and I think it's because there's no like bubbles in it. Yes, of course. But yeah, I I could I could drink this. I could drink this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. The beer powder has yet to make its market debut. The brewery is currently working on a version with alcohol. But will the Germans even drink powdered beer? I would like to try it. I had a certain skepticism about whether it would taste good. I think I would just try it out of curiosity. I don't have any interest, honestly, to try it. Enthusiasm for the idea is not great. But might there come a time when beer powder would replace classical beer? Also, nehmen Sie Armbanduhren als Vergleich. Irgendwann war die klassische Armbanduhr tot. Und heute haben wir eine Renaissance der schönen Armbanduhren, weil Menschen eben sich begeistern können für das Handwerk, für das Ehrliche, für das, für das Schöne. Und ähm, so wird es in der Brauerei auch sein. It remains to be seen just how competitive beer powder will be once it's on the market. So for now, this is all I have to do. Cheers! <laughs>